Today, I'm going to be testing the pass-through of all three quests and comparing them. Before we get into the pass-through footage, let's gain some understanding by checking out the specs. Without further ado, let's get into the specs of the Quest 1 released May 2019. First off, there are four infrared cameras that provide grayscale pass-through. The resolution is 1440 by 1600 pixels per eye through Fresnel lenses. It comes with a field of view of 93 degrees. All this with a launch price of $399. On to the Quest 2. It launched in October 2020 and had a lot of upgrades. It still had four infrared cameras. The resolution is 1832 by 1920 pixels per eye. Compared to the Quest 1, it's about an 18% increase in resolution. They stuck with the Fresnel lenses for the Quest 2, but the field of vision did increase to 97 degrees. The Quest 2 did have the lowest starting price at $299, making it the most affordable to have at launch. Lastly, the Quest 3 was released in October 2023. The Quest 3 has six cameras. Two are RGB cameras that provide color pass-through. The other four cameras are infrared sensors. The resolution is 2064 by 2208. It's a 29% increase from the Quest 2. What I love is that you can adjust the IPD from the outside of the headset and move it between numbers. The pancake lenses provide a reduced size for the headset, has a thinner casing, but at the same time provides a sharper image and an improved optical quality. The FOV is 110 with an increased launch price of $499. First, I'll show you the pass-through of the Quest 1, 2, and 3 in sequential order. Then, I'll be putting it all together side by side by doing categories of things. Let's get started with seeing the hands in pass-through. Although the footage of the Quest 1 looks pretty decent, it's the most nauseating out of the three because there's not a depth of field. It feels more like a 2D image that you're in. The image quality is pretty much the same on the Quest 2. Even though there's a lot of distortion, the sense of depth is better, making it a less nauseating experience. The Quest 3 is miles different. It practically looks like it's being shot on a camera, despite it being a little grainy. Color aside, the depth of view is immaculate. I'll be showing the rest of the footage with all three of the Quests together, side by side, so that you can see the differences more easily. Here I am checking my watch on all three of the the quests and it's practically unreadable in the first two. For this test, I focused on looking around the room, looking outside the window, looking at my cat. I'm really glad they waited to make augmented reality mainstream because it's not very usable in the pass-through mode in quest one and two. You wouldn't even be able to tell that the drink that I picked up wasn't water in the quest one and two. It looked see-through and I like that I used a clear glass to see if there's any distortion within there. The Quest 3 is performing above and beyond, obviously, and it looks so vibrant. Here's some colorful yarn that I picked out for this experiment. The Quest 3, again, is performing great. The Quest 2, you can really tell what it even is that I'm holding, and the Quest 1 looks great, but again, it's because the depth of field is not there, and it looks more like a flat 2D image, so it doesn't have as much to render. I was most interested to see what it would look like on my phone. As you can see, it's a struggle to read on the first two, whereas the three is a breeze. I pulled up a test document to see if I was able to read them through the lenses of the Oculus. It was pretty hard to read and I had to zoom in way more than I would if I was just sitting down. The Quest 3 was quite the breeze compared to the 1 and 2 when reading the document. Didn't even need to really zoom in, it was fine from my regular sitting position, which is great. I have these colorful hexagonal lights that I thought would look cool in the Quests. It's crazy how you can't even see the color and how the light actually kind of blows out in the first one and two. It's managed really well in the three. Let me know what you think. Feel free to show some support by liking, commenting, and subscribing. Overall, I'm really glad I made this video. I completely forgot how disorienting the Quest 1 was and how heavy it was too. I know the Quest Pro was more similar to the Quest 3, but I didn't get it because of how expensive it was. I can't believe how good the tech has gotten and I'm really excited to see more games utilize augmented reality so that I can use my 3 in pass-through mode more often. It's really nice to see how far they've come in such few years. Alright, catch you guys in the next one.